from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Platinum Group Metals Miner Northam last month completed the drilling and reaming of the first shaft of its number three shaft expansion project. The new shaft, at 1,380 meters deep and 4.8 meters wide, is designed to handle personnel and materials, while two additional shafts will handle rock haulage and ventilation duties. Master Drilling CEO and founder Dani Pretorius speaks to Mining Weekly's Donna Slater about the shaft construction projects. I'm Dani Pretorius, I'm the CEO of Master Drilling Group and uh, currently doing a project at the three shaft complex Zondra Inda. The project started in late 19 and took us 22 months to complete. And we today, as we speak, just about to complete the first part of the project and following this will be the equipment of the shaft and then the rest of the installation. But our part of the project has been completed today. So rice boring is the application is typically when you have access underground. It's a much easier and much safer and cheaper way to then drill or ream what we call ream a hull from A to B, from the surface or from underground to the next level. It comes at probably the fraction of the cost and obviously much safer than opposed to the conventional mining method being used. We started off by the pilot hole, which was probably the more or the most critical part of the project, using directional drilling to drill the hole a pretty straight. And I think that was from the onset the most important KPI to meet. Uh, we've obviously brought in NOV as one of our partners in the, in the project. They've been used in the mining industry to date and very successful complete the pilot hole. I think the deflection over the total distance, 1.4, 1.38 kilometers, was around about 150 millimeters, which I think is the best being achieved uh, ever in the mining industry. Just cost-wise, it comes at a fraction of the cost of conventional drill and blast. I think the second part is much quicker. It's probably, it probably comes with 20% with of the total time, which you, if you compare that with conventional sinking, and maybe the last and more important one is much safer. In a conventional sinking system, there's some people exposed at the bottom of the shaft. In our case, obviously, people is all on surface at the machine. We can only use the race boring system if there's an underground excavation. So there, really, there is horses for courses. So if there's serious rock condition or bad ground to, 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 to be negotiated, you, you probably need to go with the conventional way. But when the geotech information is sound and, and good, uh, the race boring method is much cheaper and, and safer to do and quicker. Northam chose to use Master Drilling's raised boring method as a result of the miner having underground access to the pilot hole of the new shaft, as well as to keep costs down and risk of injury minimal. Northam CEO Paul Dunn explains. My name is Paul Dunn. I'm the CEO of Northern Platinum Limited. In 2017, we purchased a large block of ground from uh, one of our colleagues in the industry, Anglo Platinum. This block of ground is quite extensive it has uh, just on 20 million ounces in the ground, which is in mining terms, PGM terms, that's, that's big. Uh, and the reason we purchased the ground is because this current mine where we're speaking from, Zonda Ender, has been in operation for 35 years. So it is, is getting a longer in the tooth than ideally we would have liked. So the reason we bought that block of ground would, was to extend the optionality on the one hand of, of the mine as to what appropriate level we would operate it at and secondly to give a, a longer life of mine. The, the, in, in actual fact, as we mentioned earlier, the current life of mine is now another nearly 35 years beyond where, where we are today. Without the block of ground, it would have been much shorter. The Zondarena mine is noteworthy in the platinum group metals industry and is unique in a few aspects, Paul Dunn explains. It sets of a couple of firsts in the industry. First of all, it is the deepest PGM mine in the world, uh, and currently at 2.3 kilometers. Now, you may, you may think, well, I know gold mines are four kilometers, but the temperature gradient in the Bushveld complex, the PGM um, host rock, is far steeper than gold. So if you're mining at 2.3 kilometers at, in PGMs, it's pretty much equivalent from a temperature point of view uh, as to mining at four kilometers in gold. So this mine is, the, first of all, the deepest, which of course not what investors always want to hear, but uh, the mine has been successful in doing that through the application of hydropower mining and backfill uh, technologies. So they are you know, quite extensively applied at Zonenda today. And the application now of, of raised bore at this depth is also a world first, and the depth of the shaft is a world record. So the raised boring technique is, is, is well known uh, in the sense that uh, 
The mining industry does use this technique for shorter distances with applications that are not dependent on straightness. However, the shaft that we're building is a, a man and material hoisting shaft, which means it must be plumb straight. And therein lies the technical challenge that has been delivered by Master Drilling. Uh, this shaft at uh, 1,380 meters hit its target within a 200 millimeter uh, radius, which is incredible. It's actually an incredible technological achievement. As the machine, uh, the machine drills back upwards uh, vertically, uh, the head of the tunnel borer, vertical tunnel borer, if you can call it that, or the raise boring machine, operates in a vertical uh, method from the bottom up. As it cuts, the chips then fall down behind it, into the hole, as it were. So um, those chips at, at around about 500 um, tons per day have to be moved. And uh, the mines, the mining crew, the development crew, uh, the Zonda Ender crew have to move those chips. Otherwise they will block up the hole and you wouldn't be able to continue. So uh, scraping away those chips, loading them into hoppers and, and then the lateral transport four kilometers backwards to the original shafts is quite a, quite a feat. So the combination, I think, of master drilling and the Zonda and the underground development teams have done a remarkable job. At the moment, the miners, they, they travel down two kilometers in the current shaft system. They then travel horizontally for four kilometers to the face. And of course, that's quite a long uh, uh, traveling time. The shaft that we are sinking will put the guys right down at the face without that horizontal lateral walk. I mean, four kilometers walking underground is, 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 is far. When we finish the shaft system, both shaft systems will be used in, in, in tandem, I think is the right word. They will be used together, they will share the load of, of people, materials and of course the extraction of the rock. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.